Cool. Today, we are talking about my favorite video light, the Aperture MC, and just how many use cases it has besides just video. Let's get into it. Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I want to talk about my favorite lights. Like seriously, these are my favorite lights to use ever. In fact, I have only ever used these lights to light my background. I have a different light in front of me, but that's unrelated. So if I zoomed out a little bit, you can see I have one on a cheap Amazon stand and one small rig clamped to my shelf over there and then I just zoom in a little bit just to get rid of this the stands a little bit I don't mind if that blue light is in the corner it is what it is and this one just sits in the back normally just to separate me from the background and so it's not just a empty black void back there of mysteriousness it's not scary back there, I promise. And if you don't yet have these in your arsenal, you should because they are helpful for more than just video. They are super useful for photo. Now, since I do a lot of product photography, having small lights is the absolute best. And you'd be surprised just how powerful and useful these things are. For the sake of quickly covering the basics, these are a RGB WW light. I know there's a whole like scientific explanation, but honestly, who cares? It basically has something to do with being tungsten and daylight balance for more accurate whites. That's really all you need to know. There's 360 degrees of hue and 100 levels of saturation. Currently this light is at like 62%, but this light can go from 3200 Kelvin all the way up to 65, got it, <laughs> 6500 Kelvin. So you got lots of options for daylight balancing and you got plenty of color effects in these lights as well. You got your fire effect. I don't know if you can really tell that it's like shifting, but I've used this effect in photos the most whenever I'm photographing a candle or really that's it, but I've used it a lot. <laughs> you got your cop car effect and these are super beneficial if you got two. I mean, I got three here, but um, I don't feel like taking another one down just to get the red blue. Um, you got pulsing, you got your party effect. Cause you know, it's a party up in here over on youtube.com slash Josh Orley. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you totally should for more whatever content this is. <laughs> you got your, your lightning. Yeah, we're going to end that. Cause I don't know how many of y'all have that issue. Uh, you got your TV effect. So you could get a couple of these, put it in front of your face and make it look like you're watching TV. I believe you can do the same thing with some of their larger lights, like the P60C, which I own, which is basically like a large version of this. You got your faulty bulb, you got your fireworks, and you got your paparazzi because, you know, that hashtag influencer life. What's also great about these is just how small they are. Now, with the rubber diffuser on it, it's a under the size of like two decks of cards. Although well, the unblock is, hold on. With the rubber diffuser on it, it is still under the size of two decks of cards fly the flag now if we take that rubber diffuser off it is certainly the exact same size as a deck of cards but what's great about these being so small is that you can put them in small places but these get better if again if you don't have these again you should because these are magnets and if you've seen my short, then you know how I feel about magnets. Magnet! Mm. Additionally, these can be controlled with the Citus Link app on your phone. So you can control your lights remotely, change the color temperature, change the color, and even use a color picker feature using the camera on the back of your phone to color match and make sure all your lights actually match the same color among a slew of other features that are absolutely fabulous and also you can use the app to make sure all the lights are on the latest firmware last but not least these things can be charged wirelessly and via USB C and can be charged from 0 to 100% in just 90 minutes which is fan freaking tastic which basically means you could 
throw this on the charger not much long later have enough battery to probably get you through what you need to get done now at the time when i first started buying these they didn't have a four pack and 12 pack but now those exist so if you have the funds for it certainly get the four pack because the more the merrier with these because you can do so freaking much with these 12 would be like if you're on a professional set four is like if you're me <laughs> i bought one and instantly was like i need another one and then sold another one of my lights and bought another one so the ways in which i use these lights are obviously one to light my background so i have a red brick wall so naturally the best color to light that wall is with orange or something in the red family so naturally that means the light over here should be a contrasting color like teal that's not because i'm trying to be a basic youtuber with the teal and orange but because Look, I'm just circumstantially basic, okay? <laughs> These lights have also come in handy when I need to crawl into tight spaces because even though I do have a flashlight, I just prefer using these. These are just more fun anyway to crawl into nooks and crannies, especially if I need to reconnect my smart plugs. I've recently switched those out, which maybe I'll do a video about, maybe not. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in because I've tried a couple and the kind I tried, I didn't eventually didn't like I digress the ones I have now are better let me know if you want to see a video about that but these have been my go-to light for any time I just need a source of light and like I said before I've used these in every single product photo I've ever taken at least nearly every photo because <laughs> these things are small I can hold my camera and have a light in my other hand and just place it where I want to and they're just small enough when for they're just small enough for getting those up close and tight detail shots so I can highlight what I want to highlight so if you don't already have one of these in your kit you absolutely should pick one up but you may actually want to wait maybe depends on how patient you are because there's slightly bigger better just more powerful version of these coming it is the mc pro and those are coming who knows it was slated for 2022 early 2023 so, and i'm recording this on january 22nd and they s still haven't come out they're showing off at nab in april of last year and they come with a magnetic ball head and magnetic diffuser so instead of a rubberized outer coating it's just magnets so it's just like boop boop we're, we're not doing this bit again it just goes on the front and you can stack those kind of similar to the aperture mx i believe because those were just a plate that you put on top which was a great light but the mc was just so much better and i guess there's gonna be new tech inside those which are similar to the ls 600 c pro which is a bigger more expensive light that aperture makes and these new rumored lights well they're not rumored we've seen them they have an ip54 weather resistant rating so you can work with them outdoors just like any pro light fixtures when those come out you best bet <laughs> I will probably be replacing all three of my MCs with those lights just because they're brighter, they're better, they're just everything more good, great stuff. So if you're impatient, pick up an MC. These things are great. And if you're willing to wait, wait until the MC Pros come out. So that's about all I have for this video. If you want to pick up one of these lights, I'll have links down in the description to all the options mentioned. Those are affiliate links and I do get a little bit of kickback if you use those. No, they are not from Aperture. They are Amazon links, but still I do get a little bit of kickback. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye.